Hello, I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior Consultant, ENT, Head and Neck Surgeon, working with the Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, discharge from ear canal can happen due to various reasons and from various regions. Uh, the most uh, common one that we see on a day to day is from the middle part of the ear, that is behind the eardrum, where there is a mucous membrane, like uh, the pink part of the mouth or nose. There is one uh, small cavity which is uh, containing this mucous membrane, which secretes a lot of mucus. Now, if there is a, there has to be a hole in the eardrum. Uh, then the, this mucus secretion uh, can come out through that and into the ear canal and henceforth you see the discharge coming out. This is purely mucoidal and if there is any infection around the, the quantity becomes much more. It starts even sometimes foul smelling and uh, the color also, the discharge color also can change. This is the most common one. The other uh, uh, you know, common causes are uh, any infection in the outer part of the ear that is away, I mean uh, lateral to the eardrum, uh, the ear canal or the pinna if there is any infection or injuries that can lead to this kind of uh, discharge which is not mucus mostly it is uh, watery discharge or uh, sometimes blood stained or uh, sometimes pus can come. Uh, this is uh, originating from the outer ear right and in this uh, situation if you look at the or examine the ear the eardrum uh, you know usually is intact now this also can have a foul smell or it can be colored or uh, uh, you know transparent uh, watery discharge it can be produced by because of a bacterial infection or uh, more commonly a fungal infection in the external part of the ear uh, the other you know rare causes would include injury to the local region um, even if you use an earbud and injure yourself, the skin which is peeled off, the ulceration which is formed can secrete some watery discharge that can be seen on the external ear. More serious injuries to the uh, ear and uh, the bone surrounding, the skull surrounding it can lead to more significant or more continuous, more uh, quantity wise much more discharge coming on a regular basis um, including uh, the cerebrospinal fluid or the, the fluid around the brain uh, can start leaking through the fracture line and come out through the ear. Though rare, it is commonly, I mean, it is seen in uh, head injury patients and when, when we see a continuous discharge coming through the ear, we have to investigate and see where the fluid is coming from.